Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. I just want to say, guys, I had a ball on that Peaches to Beaches on uh, Friday. It, I had a ball. It was uh, so much fun. It was overwhelming. And I only went about 15 to 20 miles on that 220-mile-long uh, yard sale. Uh, that was between Hawkinsville and Perry. Uh, and I didn't even hit every place. Uh, there's no way I could have. Right by myself, and uh, it was it was just overwhelming with how many vendors was down through there. But uh, I certainly had a ball. I sure did, and I found some great knives. Uh, I just ran out of cash, guys. I did not expect to find so many knives in that little stretch. I really didn't. I, I didn't expect to. Uh, it was just amazing, and I found some good stuff too. I really did for good prices. That's what I look for, guys. Um, you ain't got to go out and buy two and three hundred dollar pocket knives when you got the old stuff that you can pick up for five to twenty bucks. I mean, it's just good stuff. It really is. But anyway, guys, uh, I uh, want to thank all y'all for tuning in, and I want to give three channels a shout out real quick, if y'all don't mind. But I want to talk about a young man. His name is Jesse Turner. His, ch his channel is actually Jesse Turner, but he calls it Wheels and Blades. I've emailed him about the changing the name, so we'll see if he does that. But he calls it Wheels and Blades, but the channel name is Jesse Turner. That's his name. But uh, he inspires me, guys. He really does. He uh, He's given me a new meaning of uh, not making excuses for stuff that I want to get done. Um, he's in a wheelchair. He can't get out and hunt for knives like I do. Uh, I'm gonna be sending him some knives this week. I'm um, getting, get, getting him some knives up. Uh, but uh, y'all go over there. I'll leave a link down below of his uh, channel, guys. And uh, he's just an amazing person. And uh, he, he inspires me. He, he really does, guys. He's, he, he's a great guy. And uh, he 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 reviews knives and stuff like that. But uh, I've asked him to turn his, his comments on because I want to give him some positive comments back about how much of an inspiration he is. Uh, and he loves knives. So uh, so y'all go over there and, and subscribe. Y'all give him some love. And uh, I appreciate it. Uh, j j just, just tell him the knife doctor sent, sent y'all. But again, his name is Jesse Turner. That's his channel name. And again, I'll leave the link for his channel down below in the video description. Jesse, if you're listening, buddy, I'm gathering you up some knives and they'll be on the way this week, man. But I appreciate you reaching out to me because uh, you really have inspired me, man. You really have. Thank you again, buddy. Another channel I want to give a shout out to is uh, AW Custom Designs. He uh, made this sheath for me he sent it uh the stitching job is amazing i love that belt loop i wear it every week uh it has my little uh imperial fish knife in there uh it fits like a glove he, he did an amazing job on the sheath but the quality of the work is second to none it really is good guy aw custom designs he does leather work of course and he shows knives but uh he's he's just, He's a good guy. He really is. Another channel is the Cheesy Moon Workshop. He repairs knives. He goes to flea markets, yard sales, pawn shops. He finds stuff in need to repair, and he repairs them. And uh, he sent me the uh, Cutaragas last week. Again, guys, it's Cheesy Moon Workshop. He does great repairs. He just did a case knife. I uh, had a bro broken tip. He did an excellent job on that tip. Uh, it looks good. But uh, again, Cheesy Moon Workshop. He's a great guy. You'll like his content. Anyway, guys, I just want to sh shout them out real quick. Uh, and another favorite channel of mine is uh, Second Chance George. Uh, he's a good guy. He does uh, a lot of um, customization of Opinels. But again, it's Second Chance George. He's probably one of my favorite channels on YouTube right now. He, uh, he just uh, he does hikes and he... He reviews knives. He, he gives the best reviews, guys. He, he really does. But uh, he's a good friend. Me and him have been, been commenting 
or talking back and forth through text and phone calls and stuff like that. So, uh, great guy. Anyway, I'm fixing to get to uh, these knives that I found. And uh, again, guys, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in and I hope y'all enjoy the video. Okay, guys, here they are. I about didn't have enough room on my little mat here. But uh, we'll start with the books first that I bought from Mr. Wade Helms and uh, Mr. Pete. Uh, it's a buck fillet knife. It's a nice plastic sheath. You can see they got that little belt loop right there. But uh, I know who put that on there, Mr. Wade Helms. <laughs> uh, but it's, this is a buck USA. That little slash to the right of that 125. It's a, it's a USA made buck 125. But anyway, that uh, arrow right there to the right of that 125 pointing to the left that means it made in 1986 this knife's in wonderful shape it really is it just needs to be cleaned up some the handle but it feels really good in your hand and it's pretty dang sharp now uh it's a good looking fillet knife uh i really like this knife and i've never seen one before that's why when i saw that i had to have it i have a thing for fillet knives guys uh I'm fishing knives i don't know why but i do uh, but it's a great knife. And this one here now, I really like this one. This is a Buck folding fillet. This is a Made in USA Buck 549. That slash to the right. It's leaning to the right a little bit. Uh, this knife was made in 1993. And I know who put that on there. Mr. Wade Helms. Uh, he likes a lanyard about as much as I do. Uh, probably that's where I probably got it from from him I know it is uh, but this is a nice knife that I bought from them it really feels good in the hand the handle just needs to be cleaned up a little bit no problem at all we can get that cleaned up but uh it's pretty sharp too now they sell some quality good knives man they go up to making all the time and and set up at Smiley's the flea market but these are two great knives to add to my, my collection here uh, also bought this right here guys from them it's a case box and a, a very old box you can see you just got prices on there seventeen dollars and fifty cents so i don't know if each knife costs that or the whole box costs that but look what pattern it is guys i did i did not know this at the time but y'all remember that 640045r got 13 pieces in there well, look at here. This is a case knife that I cleaned up the other day. Camping knife, and check this out. It's got 640045R. 640045R. Now, ain't that cool as heck, man? I did not even know that till I got it home. But uh, when I seen that on there, I'm like, oh my God. I know I have two of these. And, uh, one of them I redid the handles on. It's got a deer antler on there. But, uh, see, a 640045R. There it is right there. So this knife, I know it didn't, but could have possibly come in this box. Who knows? But, uh, this is such an amazing find. And it's got paperwork in here of the old stuff, man. Ain't that cool? Pocket knives, hunting knives, household knives, scissors, and shears. This is awesome. See that right there? That's so awesome. So eventually, guys, this I'm going to wrap in wax paper and put in this box. As soon as I get done carrying it, and I'm going to get that shield on there. I'm contacting Case this week. I have uh, this knife. And these two knives I need shields for. So I'm going to be contacting them with these model numbers. This is just a uh, yellow synthetic trapper. This here is a stockman with a... Looks like stag or bone. I'm contacting Case this week for uh, getting the shield for these knives here but again guys i'm once i get the shield on i'm gonna be wrapping it up in, in uh, wax paper and putting in this box because it matches that uh, pattern number with this knife i thought that was so cool it was cool that i got it 
but it was extra very special cool when i got it back home and realized that it was for this type of knife here and all it is is the uh the camp knife of course but uh this one was made from 1940 all the way to 1964 excellent shape but uh you see again i don't know if it was 1750 per knife at that time uh, there's no way to tell when this was but i'm sure it was between 1940 and 1964. very cool uh the next item i bought was a a zippo and this is a 1972 according to that uh little straight line on the right straight line on the left this logo was uh introduced in 1955 and ran all the way from to 1979 so this is a 1972 and what i'm going to be doing with this one i'm going to be sending it back to zippo and see if they won't fix this hinge here because uh they won't sell sell you the pins but you can see it's messed up um so we're going to be sending this to zippo here soon we'll do a video on that of me sending it off and and uh getting it back so can't wait to do do this this week never done that before i'm looking forward to it and then guys next items i bought was uh these here from a subscriber to the channel uh he was selling out there i got all this right here from him including the queen for 60 bucks okay you got one two three four five six seven so a little less than 10 bucks a piece you can't beat that especially for this knife here this is a uh Schrade 47 OT. I've done redone some tips on this. You see how thin that tip is. It'd be easy to break. You see that? People pry with that, but it's made for skinning. It ain't made for prying. But uh usually when you find them, the tips are broke. About right there too. About right where it starts to get thick. Right in there somewhere. But uh excellent looking knife. I'm keeping this one because it's just in great in such a great shape. It's going to my personal collection. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing shape. It really is. And I want to thank him for giving me such a good deal on these knives. His name is Jonathan. Great, great knife here. And then I bought this queen from him to off camera. I come across him, me and him were, were talking. This is 1981. He thinks it's Micarta handles, and he could be right. It, Kind of looks like wood to start with, but you see how it's grained up like that? Uh, it's pretty cool. Never seen one like it. It's got somebody's initials on the back. I'll get rid of that, but it's pretty sharp now. I, I know the blade is, is whittled down some, but uh, it's still a great find. Uh, I've got to clean it up, but it's a beautiful knife. Somebody's even reached out and wanted to buy it, but I don't sell my knives, guys. I, I just don't. But uh, this is a great knife. Great knife. And this here, I couldn't pass this up. This was a, a Marine Corps uh, tie, tie clasp. I have a few of these now that I got from boot camp. And I wore two during my service. But it's, it's very nice. Very nice. Could not pass that up either. <laughs> now this here, guys, is a Camillus in great shape boy scout knife never seen one like this had to get it again this is going to my personal collection camillus new york usa probably from the 90s you know but it's a great knife it really is couldn't pass it up it's in great shape too it really is great shape and this one here is a uh, trapper it's a 194 ot um i forgot what they call it but it's a great great knife i just gotta reprofile this tip here one day clean it up it's gonna be like a great it's gonna be a good knife when i get done with it and i like the old timers guys i just like that non-slip grip that texture grip right there Vert versus the um uncle henry stag I really just don't like that fake stag, but that's just me. But this here, guys, 
I couldn't pass these up either. I've never seen a Boy Scout mess kit made by Imperial. And that stamp right there was made from uh, 1955 all the way up to 1988. Right there. Here, I'll show you. I'm sorry, it was uh, 1956 all the way to 1988. That's that stamp right there. See there? And, uh, but I'm thinking this was from the 70s, maybe early 80s, uh, this was. Uh, but it's a great piece to add to my collection. It really is. Love this right here. Love it. And this here, guys, is probably one of my favorite knives that I found. I love a fish knife for some reason. But uh, it's got a single blade. It's got the hook remover right there. It's got the descaler right there. But the guys, this is a lock blade. Never seen one that is a lock blade. And it's awesome. Knife's in excellent shape. Just needs to be cleaned up. And I'm gonna be cleaning this knife up here real soon in a video with one more down here. And guys, according to that stamp on that tang right there, it was made from the early 1930s to the mid 1940s. So it is a very old knife. Uh, but ain't that beautiful right there? It's solid too, guys. You know, I've done one of my sons, uh, I gave him one. It's a Kent that's similar to this, but it wasn't a lock blade. I like this design over uh, the two bladed ones um, with the. Um, the only thing this don't have is the, the bottle opener. But I just love that design. And I love the bell. I really do. You can hang that. Put that in your pocket. It's real slim too. That's what I like about it. But this, this is probably one of my favorite knives of the whole find. It really was. Oh, awesome. Very awesome. I found this one here too though. For one dollar. One dollar. Mayor made in germany i'm gonna be re-putting the handles on this thing looks good huh it's got that good carbon steel i know this thing is going to sharpen up it's got that gray tint to it oh yes sir this is going to be a new tool for my my kitchen in the house awesome i just realized guys this knife come from this pile here so i gave a uh, 30 bucks for a one, two, three, four, five, six, five dollars a piece. You've already seen that knife, it's a C Camillus. This one here, guys, is a Schrade Walden 225H Folding Hunter. Great shape. Now the blades are in good shape. The only problem is, guys, this right here, but all I'm going to do is glue that. I'm not going to try to take the handle off or anything. I'm just going to clean it up. That what it is, that pin. You, to redo that pin right, you'd have to take this whole thing apart. I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to shoot some super glue or the Gorilla Glue up underneath that and clamp it and hold it down for a little while. But this knife, guys, is going to clean up like a champ. I've got a sheath for it, too, and we're going to put a lanyard in it. This video will be coming soon. I'm cleaning this knife up. Can't wait to see it. This is going to be going to my personal collection. Love it, guys. Love this knife. I don't have a Schrade Walden folding hunter. This is before the old timer come out. Awesome. Uh, another one is just a little fishing knife. I can't get en uh, enough of these. That symbol right there is, again, from 56 to 88. And, uh... It's a good little knife. And you've seen that one. It's another fishing knife. This one, though, it has a broken blade right here. We'll fix that. And that right there is from 46 to 56, up to 56. So uh, it's an older knife than that one. But it's a good little knife. It'll clean up good. It really will. I like it. This guy right here is a toothpick that looks like the, the fishing knife. 
but this is a hammer brand. Let's see when this one was made. See, the blade just needs to be reprofiled a little bit, new tip, but it's really in good shape. It really is. This is starting to come off. That's what I hate about these knives. But see, that they're crimped on, guys. You see, you if you do that, take them little, bend them up, them little tabs, same thing here. These handles will come right off, and you can just customize the, 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 the handle, whatever you want. Uh, but it's going to clean up good. I just hate that that's coming off, but it's it's got some age to it. Let's look this knife up real quick. Hammer Brand's got the USA to the right. This knife here, guys, according to that uh, stamp on that tang right there, see the USA to the right, USA to the right. 1945 to 1955. How about that? Pretty cool, ain't it? It's just a cheap knife. It, they really are, guys, but they got some age to them. That's why I like to pick them up. You can pick them up for, for little or nothing most of the time. You know, I only gave five bucks for it, but it's a good knife. 1945 to 1955. And this right here, guys... It's probably the find of the day, and we're going to go over it last. <laughs> uh, we'll go over it last. But I also found this one here at the same place. I gave eight, eight bucks for it. And it's a, uh, a old-timer, Barlow. It's an Ulster. But I believe these were, uh, you buy so many cans of uh, uh, Prince Albert tobacco and send stuff in, you they'll send you one of these so Schrade made these for Ulster they really did and it's a good knife well made knife it's a true Barlow meaning it don't have the crimped handles I really don't like I'll buy them I really don't like the crimped handle Barlows I really don't this is a true Barlow knife with individual handles individual see they're they're truly they're a true pinned end handle where the fake ones you can just do undo them crimps like this here see that that's how some of these were made uh, but this is a well-made one here and it's a nice knife it really is very nice knife but i also picked up you guys i could not pass these up these are going to be going on my wall of fame uh, i only gave a um, dollar each for them Vietnam veteran 1959-1975 and uh, USA Special Forces Vietnam. So I already got a Vietnam patch that was sent in. These are going to be hanging up right below it. I can't wait to add these. But uh, I love them. I'm starting to dig these little pins, guys. <laughs> I hope I don't. I probably will pick stuff up like this all the time now because I really like these little pins. And start putting them up on my wall of fame over there but uh oh yeah i also got these from wade and mr pete too these gave 20 bucks for all four of these this is a little mess kit knife i love these and these hold a great edge it needs to be sharpened but they're really well made and uh see it's kind of broke right there but it's all right it's still solid but uh I love these. You can sharpen these up, make a sheath for it, and be a nice little uh, uh, a a kitchen knife or uh, a food prep knife. It's a very well made knife. It really is. I love them. And this in here, guys, you know what this is? A Victoria Knox Classic. I uh, only gave you know five dollars for it. It works great. Everything. See, this is a classic SD because it's got a fingernail file with a flat tip screwdriver. If it's just a classic, guys, it's just got a point out here with no screwdriver. Uh, it's just a regular fingernail file. But the flat tip screwdriver right here, the flat tip screwdriver right here makes it the SD classic. It's got the uh, toothpick and the tweezers. And again, guys, Victoria Knox makes the best tweezers you can find. Really good, good stuff. But in great shape. These are good for keychains. I have one 
on each set of mine. I mainly use the scissors off these knives, guys. They're, they really cut very well. Good little knives to have. This here, guys, I've only seen one other kind like this before, and it was a Ducks Unlimited one. My friend Glenn found it at a pawn shop, but it is a SG7, Shrade, USA made, but I like that right there. I might have to get me a sheath for it, but uh, very well made. It sure has got the serrated edge. You know, I kind of like a serrated edge, especially if I'm out in the woods and stuff. If you need something cut, like a vine, a small twig or something, you can use it as a saw. Uh, but it's got a good edge on it. And the tip's in good shape. This knife overall is in excellent shape. Just needs to be cleaned up. Good find. It really is. And uh, this one here is just a USA made. See, made in USA. Probably made by Camillus. Um, just needs to be cleaned up. Seems like there's a a problem with the can opener I can't open it but it looks like it, it looks like it might be all there I think part of it's broke I think the bottom of it's broke the reason it's sunk down like that but it's fine we'll clean it up and give it new life new purpose I gave five dollars for it could pass it up I like these knives and I bought this too guys from a uh, I gave $4 for it. It's a Victorian Ox. It's got everything. The blades are just... I just don't understand people that do that. The blades, I just don't understand it. Either they don't know how to sharpen or... They just... I don't know. I just don't like that. Right, right there. Um, but it's a good little knife here, guys. It don't have the tweezers, but it does have the toothpick. Um, but I couldn't pass this up for four bucks. Got the um, sewing all punch blade here. See that? And it's got the uh, corkscrew. Awesome little knife for four bucks. And I gave three bucks for this one. This is just a Craftsman USA. I like these knives. They're pretty well made. Nice little knife. The blade is uh, kind of jacked up a little bit. We'll put a new point on it and give it a new edge. It'd be good to go. Oil it down. And I, I like to find these. I gave a dollar piece for these. It's got the America's premium quality beer. Falstaff. Um. I like these. I really do. I, I collect them. And uh, here's one more, too. Quick and easy. Can opener. Very cool. USA. Awesome, ain't it? And last but not, certainly not least, guys, the find of the day. This is the find of the day, if you ask me. Just check out that bone right there. It's beautiful. I'm going to clean it up. The brass is going to be shining good. The bolsters, I hope, will come out again. I'm going to put a mirror polish on them. But check out that bone, y'all. It is beautiful. And this, guys, is a pre-1940. This was made between 1920 and 1940. Case Tested XX. I'll show you in my book here. See you right here. That's it right there. Case tested right here. That's it right there. See, it don't have that little line, I don't think. Yeah, it don't. It's straight like that. A few of the many known variations of tested era tank set, 1920, 1940. So, this knife, guys, was made before 1940. Uh, look at the bone. It's in great shape still. I paid $5 for this. Well, all I'm going to do is give it a new edge. It looks like it was a sheep foot, almost. Uh, I know it's been whittled down some, but it ain't been much. See, and the point sticks up above that. When I do give it the new line across here, I'm going to kind of curve up. But I might have to do a little bit of grinding right there just to get that below there. But it'll be all right. But this pin blade, guys, this pin blade is uh in awesome shape 
But uh, I think this knife's going to clean up great. I'm going to carry it along with my Queen Barlow. Uh, so I'm going to have a Queen from 1932 to 1955 in my pocket. And I'm going to have a case tested XX from 1920 all the way up to 1940 Barlow in my pocket. But look at that bone, y'all. Beautiful. That thing's going to clean up, shine up really good and i'm gonna carry this for a long time when i open that blade up i thought it was like a not cut master but uh like a king cutter because king cutter made some good looking barlows too with with bone like this that's what i thought it was but when i opened that up and saw that i about couldn't contain myself I didn't want to act like it was a some fine. And I don't think he knew what he had, guys. I really don't. Because I wouldn't have sold this for $5. Guys, these knives are well worth in great shape. Even mediocre shape. 100 bucks or more. I mean, this is a bone-handled 1920 to 1940 case. Double X tested. I, this is why I hunt, guys. This is like a, almost like a grill to me. You know, I've, I found very few of these out when I'm hunting. And especially paying $5 for it. Awesome. That was, but anyway, guys, I'm going to be cleaning this knife up and this knife up in tomorrow's video. So y'all be sure to tune in for that. Um, so both knives are going to be cleaned up in the video tomorrow. And I'll be opening up a package that I've received. Uh, but anyway. Yep. Love this knife. These two are my favorites in the whole ordeal that I found. Okay, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, I absolutely... This to me, guys, is as good as hitting a home run or hitting a hole-in-one on a golf course. Finding this case, double X tested from 1920 to 1940. You don't find these every day, and especially pay $5 for them. This, that's the part of the hunt that I love, guys. I love finding knives that I've never seen before. And just like the Camillus uh, camp knife, I mean, the Camillus fish knife. Uh, never seen one of these before, so I've got a lock blade, it's got the bell up top. This is probably the best fish knife I've ever found. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing shape. Uh, and I only gave $10 for it. Um, it's awesome. Awesome stuff, man. That's why the hunt is what I love the most besides cleaning them up, giving them new life. It's like a, it, it's, it's, it's just a, a, a high that I get uh, from cleaning these things up, giving them new life. I love saving lives of old knives. I really do. And I, I just think that they, uh, you can go out and find them for cheap and have a nice pocket knife on you without having to pay two to three hundred bucks as they are now. Uh, but I'm not going to get on that soapbox again. But uh, uh, the knives of yesterday is ten times better the knives today to me i love that old carbon steel you can have that super steel if you want it but i'd rather have one with good old carbon steel in, in it you know I, that's just me but again guys thank y'all for tuning in today i want to say god bless y'all and until we meet again guys